Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming my Teco haul. Teco is the anime convention here in Pittsburgh. So I was there the past two days and I figured that I would just share what I picked up with you guys. So, oh, I don't know if you can see this, but I actually finally got my uh, Hinata, what are these called? Nendroids? He is so cute. I kind of want to get Kageyama now just to go with him, but that has nothing to do with this. But I figured since uh, the convention's been a weekend, I would do this video in my cosplay. So if you know who this is, then please leave it down below. And if you watch my, um, what is it, my vlog, then you already know who I'm dressed up as. And maybe this will help a little bit. I don't know. Or this. So yeah, I figured I would just go through and show you guys. There's nothing like big ticket items that I bought, but I just bought a couple, well, yeah, a decent amount of like random things. So let's go ahead and get started. So the smallest things that I picked up were some pins. So I found these two from, I believe there was an artist named Higu Rose, if I'm not mistaken. And she had these cute little pins. So I have this one here. I don't know. So yeah, it's just like a little girl. And then this one says evil gender. So we just had a little conversation about it and I thought that that was super cute. And then I also got two other badges, um, which I actually already put on my convention backpack. So if you, I don't think I've shown this before. So this is my convention backpack. I just put all my pins and stuff, but the two that I got on this convention are Kuro and Suki. Um, this actually came as a set and the only reason I got it was because I wanted a Kuro pin so bad. And I liked the official badges better than some of the artist ones. So they came in a two pack for like three bucks. So Suki definitely isn't my favorite character, but I like him nonetheless because I love Haikyuu. So, yeah. On the topic of Haikyuu, I guess, um, I actually picked up two different keychains as well. So this is the first one that I bought, and it is a group shot of Nekoma. Um, Kuro wasn't in this one, which kind of sucks, but yeah, I got it again because Kenma is on there, so I thought that that was super cute. And now I'm just realizing that I have two keychains of Kenma, but whatever, because I think Kenma is going to be the next person that I uh, cosplay as, because I think it would be really easy for me to do that, and I'm retiring my Yuno cosplay, but I think that he is just like the cutest little baby doll ever, so why not? So I'm going to stick these on, I don't know, like my backpack or something. Oh yeah, I have one more Haiku thing, actually. I also picked up a t-shirt. This is a Nekoma t-shirt. So it just says Nekoma Volleyball and it has the black cat on it. And I usually wouldn't wear a red t-shirt, but I really wanted this. And yeah, I don't think I really have a favorite team in Haikyuu um, between Karasuno and Nekoma, but I don't know. I just liked it because it had the cat on it. So I was drawn in. So yeah, uh, if you can't tell, I love Haikyuu. Check it out. It's awesome. Boom. This next thing is something I didn't actually purchase, but I won it at one of the panels. So there was a panel called Anime or Manatee, so you had to guess if the description was a real anime or if it was made up. So I actually came in last place out of three people, but they still gave me an anime disc. So this is The Law of Ueki, and this is one of the descriptions that was in the game and it just says he's an average junior high student who has the power to change trash into trees. So this is gonna be hilarious. I cannot wait to watch this because I know that I'm gonna have a good laugh. I also have an obsession with stationery if you guys haven't uh, realized that by now. So I picked up a couple clear files. So the first one I picked up is this one for Attack on Titan. Um, I'm not really obsessed with Attack on Titan anymore but I thought this one was just super cute. And there's little Levi on the back, but yeah, I think that this was only a couple bucks. So I was like, why not? I just wanted a clear file and this was the cutest one that I could find. And then I went to a different um, little booth and I found two more that I really liked. So I also picked up this one, which is Tokyo Ghoul. So all the main characters on there just says Tokyo Ghoul on the back. I think that that one is like an official, I don't know. I'm assuming they're both official actually. Um, and then this one I was super excited about because I feel like this isn't something we have seen until this con, at least for me, and that is Assassination Classroom merch. So, um, at least not like clear files and like notebooks and stuff like that, maybe like little keychains, but this is the first time I've seen like other merchandise besides keychains, which I'm so excited about. Um, yeah, so Assassination Classroom, 
Kuro Sensei on the front and back, and I cannot wait to use these. And I also couldn't help myself, so I bought two pouches, which uh, probably will come in handy when I'm packing for Japan anyway, because I feel like you can never have too many pouches. So I got two really, really cute ones from the same artist, um, of which I do not know her name. So that kind of sucks, because I wish I could share it with you guys, but this one is a uh, Game Boy Advanced one, so it just has the same print on both sides, but it's like a longer one, so really good for like longer pens or whatever. The cat is like here and he doesn't know what to think of this wig. But yeah, I thought this one was really cute, especially 90s kid aesthetic, awesome. And then this one is all of the different Nintendo consoles, which I think is so stinking cute. So there's actually different ones on the front and the back a little bit. So then on this side, it has like the DS and stuff as well. And, um, like the Game Boy Advance. So I thought this was super, super cute. Uh, I normally wouldn't go for something that's like an aqua or a teal, but this was just too cute to pass up. And lastly, I just have a couple small things as well. Um, this one was a really random purchase, but there is um, a booth there. I don't know what it's called, something with cats. And I bought a pin off of them last year. And I was just kind of looking around and the lady there was super, super nice. So I was like, you know what? I kind of just want to buy something off of her because she's so sweet. So I'm getting a lip balm, Tropicat lip balm. So random, but it actually smells really good. And she hand makes these. So definitely love to support small business owners. Um, yeah, and you can never have too many lip balms. And this one actually smelled really, really nice. So that's fine. We'll just set it right there. And then these last things are just a, a few stationary bits as well. So these are some little rainbow, not rainbow color, I think it's red, yellow, and blue lead. So for when I'm doing some art stuff, I just figured I would try it out in like a mechanical pencil because I find myself never using colored pencils because I don't like how thick or like how they feel on my fingers. So if I could put this in one of the mechanical pencils I already own, then I think I would use it more often. Then I also got some Rilakkuma stickers. So these are some puffy stickers. Hopefully you can see some of those. But um, yeah, it's some of the cat version ones. So you guys know how I feel about that series. So cute. Boom. Uh, I also got two stick markers. So these ones are actually from Korea. But I see this brand all over the internet. So I got these really cute kitty cat ones. Uh, I think these are Scottish fold and then some cute little like paw print ones because again, I have a problem with stationery, so don't judge. And then the last thing I got is just a Real Akuma um, planner. I have been on a planner kick lately, so I just got my Hobonichi and I've been loving using that. So when I saw this, I was like, I kind of just want it for something like super small to throw in my bag. Ooh, these contacts kind of suck. Oh, I think my eyes are just getting so dry from wearing them. I didn't even intend to really buy anything this weekend, but it just kind of happened. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed though. Anyway, even though I didn't have like any huge ticket items or anything. But yeah, if you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you want to stick around for more videos, hit the subscribe button so that you'll be notified of my future videos. And yeah, uh, if you have anything you guys want to talk about, uh, leave it down in the comments below. And definitely comment down below what you think this cosplay is. And if you know, 10 points for you because we can be friends now. But um, joking aside, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you in my next one. See ya.